Hello ladies and gentlemen, Nick here and welcome to this Aimless Wanderings vlog for the fight, the fourth and final uh, The Search for Island Story in Sorry Wave 2 The Doctor Museum Now this one is probably my favourite, I think it's either this one or the last one um, No, it will be this one because the concept of a Doctor Museum is so genius Fun fact, there was actually a Doctor Who Adventures comic strip featuring a Doctor Museum back in 2009 I think it was with the companion Decky, he was a... I uh, know it wouldn't be 2009, it was with the 11th Doctor. Uh, I think it might have been 2012-13 then. Uh, with companion Decky, who was a lizard. Um, I was thinking of the 10th, he was with the 10th Doctor, that's not right, he was with 11. But, yeah. So there was a story with the Doctor and Decky going to a museum in the Doctor Who Adventures comic strips. This was before they uh, were rebranded as part of... Panini. Uh, so this was the original Doctor Who Adventures. And yeah, so that was a great story. And so this story is pretty similar to that, but with a Aimless Wanderings twist, and it's a it's not quite as it appears. So in the story, the Doctor and David go to a uh, the Doctor discovers a museum about him in his uh Quendaline Quendal Forts. Um guide to over 5,000 museums, 500, 5,000 space museums, and so they go to this one when the Doctor finds it out. But David can't go in because he hasn't got any money, but the Doctor gets to go in free because he's cosplaying. The robot Pompous doesn't believe co David's cosplaying. So, they yeah, all recognise him as David. Oh well. So, we get a nice little tour about uh, with the Doctor's life in his early days, and then robot David pops up with the real David being kidnapped by the villain behind the piece. I'll give you a clue who it is. Do 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 <laughs> Okay, that was two clues, but uh, so they get to a recreation of the halls of, of the doctor's halls of residence. However, the doctor realizes it is his halls of residence. And he knows David's a robot. He eventually deactivates the robots and gets David, ro Robot David's hand, and then he asks the villain to reveal himself, as he now knows it's a trap. The villain, of course, turns out to be the master. Do 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 do. I love that track. <laughs> the Doctor then gets him to Duolog, and eventually finds him and David, rescues David, and has Robo David's hand attack the master then orders the other robots to attack the master while C David and Robo David with uh Robo David's hand, which he calls Handy, escape. He then sends uh the runes back to his original self and lays a robot hand there so that an event in his past can occur. <laughs> and it's all really funny, it's really entertaining, it's such a great story. The acting is also really great from Dan David uh, uh Dimmy and Billy Tracy. They're all, everyone's great in this uh, small cast, they just have to go round doing some funny stuff at the museum and it's really good. Sadly it's not a real museum, it's a trap by the master, but oh well, it was funny. So overall I'm going to give this story a 9 out of 10. It's not 100% perfect, but it's still a really great story and it's probably my favourite just for having the concept of a Doctor Museum in a universe where the Doctor exists. Same with the Doctor Who Adventures uh, comic strip where that happened. It was so good. That one, I think, was an actual museum by an enthusiastic fan, which is a line used from this audio. So, yeah, both of them are great. So, that's the Doctor Museum. But before we go, here's a quick mini ranking of the stories from this wave. So, from the walkies in... Not walkies in there, so that's pompous. The Search for Island uh, mini ranking, so uh, that is Trouble at the Chapel, I Dalek, David's Grave and uh, the Doctor Museum. So number four is Trouble at the Chapel. Number three is I Dalek. Number two is David's Grave. And number one of course is the Doctor Museum. And I also quickly list the David's Grave stories in terms of which is which of the sub stories is my favourite to least favourite. So number three would be Game of Thorns, number two would be 
Time Rush, and number one will be Let Zygons Be Bygones. The main story itself doesn't really count as a subplot. However, the main plot alongside the side stories uh, together would make the main audio, uh, the audio itself, and how that would place on the main on the main ranking. So yeah, that's it from the Search for Island. Thank you for watching. Next time we'll be looking at the Fruit Pastel special. Uh, Fruit Pass the Doctor special, May Day of the Doctor. Following that, we'll be on to the Pompous Doctor Wave 3, Darker Paths. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.